In this video, I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step -step how to set up the Walmart Red Pricer, how to go ahead and set up a strategy, as well as how to add your items to those strategies and what are the best strategies to use. If you're new to the channel, my name is Noah and I'm a seven-figure Walmart seller. On my channel, I make videos all about selling on Walmart and helping you be successful on the platform. Be sure to go ahead and check out my free course linked in the description below, which goes over how to sell on Walmart. So without further ado, let's get into it. As a reseller, one of the most important softwares that you're going to need is going to be a repricer. This is for two reasons. The first is that a repricer will allow your offer to be competitive. So let's say your competitors go ahead and they lower the price. This way it will automatically lower your price, allowing you to be in the buy box and still continue to get sales. The second reason why you need a repricer is that a good repricer will actually allow you to raise your prices and increase your profit margin. Let's say you're selling an item for $10 and you have a competitor who's also selling an item for $10. If they sell out and the next competitor on the listing is selling for 15, your repricer should slowly match up to that $15 to see if you can go ahead and maintain the sales while also increasing the price. So the Walmart repricer only used to price down. Meaning that if you were using the Walmart repricer, it would go ahead and automatically lower your price to your minimums and it wouldn't raise it back up. But with their most recent update, now they actually raise your price and they help you get more profit. So in order to access the Walmart repricer, you're going to go to your seller center and on the left, you're going to go ahead and you're going to click pricing. It's going to pull up this brand new dashboard that they released a couple of days ago. And here you're going to be able to go ahead and see all of your metrics. You're going to be able to go ahead and see your price competitiveness, your buy box win rate, as well as you can go ahead and you can download reports. Underneath that, you can see all of your items and you can go ahead and for each item, you can see your current price, your buy box price, as well as your buy box win rate. You can also see the competitive price where Walmart is monitoring and comparing your price against the same item on a third party marketplace like Amazon or Target or another marketplace. As well as you can also go ahead and you can see the reprice your status for that item. Now this is a huge update as well because it used to be where you couldn't really tell what items were repriced and which items weren't, especially if you had a large catalog, it was very hard to manage. So there are two ways that you can update and add items to your repricer. The first is through a bulk update. The second is that you can also go ahead and you can do it individually through the repricer status. The first thing that you need to do is you need to create a repricing rule. So you're going to do that by going and clicking on any of the items. It doesn't matter which one. Underneath that, you're going to go ahead and you're going to press create new repricer strategy. From here, you're going to have three choices. You can either choose competitive price, external price, or you can match the buy box price. For the competitive price strategy, it allows you to adjust your prices to meet or beat competitive prices for the Walmart buy box, as well as for an external price. The external price strategy allows you to go ahead and match external prices found on third party marketplaces, like we were talking about before, like Amazon or Target. The buy box price allows you to adjust your prices and meet or beat the Walmart buy box price specifically for that listing. As a reseller, I only really use the buy box price. I would only use the competitive or the external if I was trying to match prices for an Amazon price or if I was a brand trying to match prices on my other platforms. But mostly as a reseller, I focus on the buy box price strategy. Underneath that, you'll have the option to check. If no competitive price is found, repricer will adjust. Underneath that, you have the option to check off. If no competitive price is found, the repricer will adjust to your last submitted price. I personally don't check this and that's because I actually go ahead and I check my prices. So if I'll notice that there's no competitive price, or that all my competitors have fallen off the listing, I will actually manually reprice it myself. So that's just what's worked for me. Next, you can go ahead and you can give your strategy a name. This is really important, especially if you want to stay organized. So you can have a main strategy. So you can put main buy box strategy. And if you want to be more aggressive, let's say an item is not selling and you want to go ahead and you want to really be aggressive with your pricing and undercut everyone, then you can go ahead and you can name this aggressive 5% or 10% or aggressive $5 however much you wanna go ahead and undercut the buy box for. If you wanna match the buy box price and not undercut them, you can go ahead and you can put match buy box price. You can put the date that you created this. Really, this is just for your internal log and to help you stay organized. If you wanted to match the buy box price, you can go ahead and you can put in 0%. If you wanted to go ahead and you wanna undercut by a penny, you would just go ahead and you would select the dollar sign and then you can go ahead and you can choose 0.01 and then it'll go ahead and it'll undercut by a penny. After you create your strategy, you're gonna be able to click this drop down, and then you can go ahead and select the strategy that you want for this listing. Next, you just need to input your min price as well as your max price. So let's say my minimum price for this item is $30, and then my maximum price is going to be 42. Then I can go ahead and once I'm done, I just press update, and then this item will be added to the strategy. So you can go through your entire catalog and manually add your items. If you wanted to do it in bulk for all of your items, you can go ahead and download the add to repricer file. You would just download the spec file, 
And once you download it, you just need to input the SKU, you need to input the strategy name, your min and max price, and all the other fields required, and then you would just upload it here. So if you want to see all of your strategies that you're currently running and not just your items, underneath the pricing tab, you can click the sub tab for the repricer. Here's where you can manage your repricing strategies. You'll be able to see which ones are active and which ones are not active. You can see how many assigned items there are. You can see all of the different parameters that you gave for those strategies. You can go ahead and create new ones. You can assign items to them, as well as you can go ahead and edit and delete them. So a couple of things to note about the repricer. The first is that the repricer will not change your shipping price. It will only change your item price. The second is that there is no limit to the amount of items that you can reprice. You can reprice your entire catalog, even if you have 10,000, 100,000 SKUs. So when does the repricer actually adjust your price? When you first set up your repricer, it can take about 15 minutes for your item price to change, and then it can also be about 15 minutes to react to a change from your competitor's price, or if you're matching an external price, it will usually also take 15 minutes. And the best part about the Walmart repricer is that if your competitor goes out of stock or the next competitive price on the listing or externally is above your price, it will actually go ahead and it will slowly match that price. So this way you can not only reprice down, but it will also allow you to make more money. Another thing that you can do within the repricer tab is that you can actually customize the columns that you see. So if you wanna see what items that you are ineligible for the buy box, or you wanna see the repricer strategy and the min and max price already displayed, you can go ahead and you can apply it right here and then all this information will now be applied to your view. So that's how to set up the Walmart repricer. If you're interested to learn more about how the Walmart buy box works, check out this video right here. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.